Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the weekend bonus read and it is for from Friday the 17th to Sunday the 19th of July 2020. I hope you're all doing well and looking forward to the weekend. So without further ado, let's get straight into the reading. This is the Sacred Power reading cards. Let's pull a card. What do we have? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for all signs for the weekend. We have unconditional love. Okay. What do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Message for the weekend, 17th to the 19th of July, 2020. What is the message? <clears throat> we have wait. Interesting. Okay, let's get the cards on the table. So what do we have? What is the message, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Message, please. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Devil. We have the King of Swords. Ace of Wands. Nine of Swords and we have Strength. <laughs> Bottom of the deck we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, I'm going to pull another Angel card actually. Let's pull another Angel card to do with this weight. <laughs> Oh wow, you know, we have trust. Okay. I feel this is kind of like an energy reading. Um, you're absolutely being told to trust, wait. It's almost kind of like you're being told to wait and see, trust the process. I feel this is what we're all going through collectively at various stages of whatever we're doing with the, pa whatever we're experiencing with the pandemic. Um, I feel that those are just wonderful messages. Trust, wait and see. Uh, it's like be patient. Because this, I do feel, we have the unconditional love card. It's almost kind of like we're being held. You know, this is you are being held. Trust that you're being held. It's almost kind of like wait and see here. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful image here. And I just feel this is the universe saying, you are absolutely being held on this journey. It is a challenge. I mean, there's a lot of Saturnian energy this year. I mean, that Saturnian energy has ruled this year, hasn't it? And Saturn is the big test, the challenge, restrictions, restraints. It ties in exactly with what we've experienced with the coronavirus, the pandemic. But we are absolutely being told to trust the process. We are being held during this period it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Yeah, it is a struggle to get to this new beginning. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and you know, we have the, the seven of wands is persevere, keep going. You are being held. Trust, because you are getting on top of a situation. And why do I say that? Because we have the seven, we have the six wands challenging this one person. It's almost kind of like the six against one. The odds are almost stacked, stacked against you in a way. Um, us, as, as people, I kind of feel. And yet this person is on higher ground. They're gaining the advantage by their sheer will, their determination, their perseverance. 
So they are, they are absolutely getting on top of a situation, but it is taking effort, it is taking struggle. So I certainly feel for some of us, you know, we are being told we are moving towards this wonderful, amazing, exciting new beginning. But it is a message of we just need to keep persevering. We just need to keep putting our effort in the right direction. We are overcoming the odds here, you know. Um, we are turning the tables, you know, in terms of the odds that were stacked against us at the beginning to where we are now. I feel slowly we are grappling with the situation that we're experiencing and beginning to turn the tables, but it has been, you know, it's been difficult. So the Nine of, of Swords is an interesting one because it can, the Swords energy is to do with our perspective, um, our mind, our mental outlook. And certainly with this Devil energy, the Devil is Saturnian energy. It is Saturn. It's a card of Capricorn ruled by Saturn. You know, and I certainly feel that it has been difficult, you know, difficult to deal with. Certainly restrictions of strain have certainly affected our mental outlook, um, our mental perspective. You know, we do hear a lot about the need to pay attention to people with mental illness, whether they've gone through the coronavirus or whether it's just the restrictions, the restraints, the isolation that people have experienced that has affected people mentally. And I do feel that that is the nine of, of swords energy here. And the devil, I feel, is this Saturnian energy, the restrictions, the boundaries, feeling powerless in a situation. And yet there is a message of us coming into our power here and certainly here as well. Because, you know, the King of Swords is somebody who breaks free, who breaks the restraints, the restrictions of the Saturnian energy. He understands how to liberate from them by having a strategy, a plan, a vision, you know. And it is about trying to get perspective, stay focused towards goals. Throughout this difficult time, you know, the King of Swords is, is about keeping your head. I, I kind of released that Rudyard Kipling saying, which was about triumph and disaster, you know, and um, keep your head while all about you are lo losing theirs, you know, and, um, and it is that energy of keep your head, you know, above it all. This is somebody who rises above the situation. This is somebody who sits on a cliff and sees the big picture. So they're not, they rise above the, the reality, the thick of it, in terms of what this Saturnian energy is representative of. They get the big perspective and stay focused towards their goals, aspirations, their visions, and have a plan, have a strategy, and stick to the plan in order to bring success. This is the power of the mind, to stay focused, to make sure that whatever this situation has done to you, is, is very much you are keeping the power of the mind. And this is kind of like that energy as well. You know, the strength card with weight, um, who designed the Rider Weight tarot deck, um, he, he always calls this the, called this the mastery of one's thoughts. Because if you can control your thoughts, your thought patterns, your internal energy, certainly to do with the mind, your perspective, that's how you overcome any challenge that's in your way. This is absolutely about staying focused, master your internal energy, reconnect to your power. Don't allow the weight of this Saturnian energy to make you crumble. This is a time for you to recognize your own power. You know, strength exists, our power exists when we have to face a challenge, when we have to rise up towards whatever this test is. And you know, this Leo energy is here as well in this card. When you're in your power, you can overcome any challenge that you face, any fear, any doubt, any uncertainty. It's a really beautiful, beautiful energy. And I feel for some of us, you know, I just feel the Queen of Cups is a card of somebody who has a closed cup. She has a closed, an enclosed cup. There's a lid on her cup. She's the only one that has an enclosed cup in the tarot deck because she understands how to keep a lid on her emotions. She understands how to channel her emotions in a positive way that make her solid, stable, secure, rock solid during an unstable time. 
you know, she has a lot of water around her and the water in tarot can be our emotions and feelings. But she is very much like the White Cliffs of Dover in the background in England. She is solid. She is secure because she has mastery over her emotions. So I feel for some of you, there's a big message of keep your head very much try and contain your emotions here stay strong because i do feel we are absolutely being held here it's such a lovely lovely energy i might well do another reading but i'm probably going to release this one um yeah stay focused on hopes dreams and wishes don't let the current situation cause confusion muddle your thinking you know because you are absolutely being held you know this is hidden blessings you are absolutely being held by the universe the moon is divine energy it's 12th house energy it's the house of magic spirit the divine so it's a wonderful 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 energy of you are absolutely being guided through this time and again that queen of cups is somebody who trusts her intuition because and again the moon energy is trust your intuition you are absolutely being guided you are absolutely being held i just feel it's a really nice message to to release so let's see what else we get with the cards yeah you know what more can I say? You know, the, the moon energy, the queen of cups is intuitive energy and we have intuition now. Listen to your soul's truth. Think less, feel more because you are absolutely being held. I can't stop saying that because that's what I'm absolutely feeling. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Uh, I hope you have a lovely weekend. I'm probably going to do another one um, just to see what else I might get. But I might get the same message. <laughs> we'll wait and see. So have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next time. Thank you.